Welcome. Hope you're having a great day or night, wherever you may be. I want to talk about weight loss. That is a big issue. Our refined and processed foods that we eat is just putting that extra weight, that excessive insulin and glucose is allowing those fat stores to really get bigger and bigger. I have something really interesting I want to share. So this is about a hormone, a hormone that's secreted naturally from the brain that affects the sleep-wake cycle, our circadian rhythm, that is attributed to growth hormone. And we're talking about melatonin. That's the hormone that your brain produces in response to darkness. It helps with the timing of your circadian rhythms, that 24-hour internal clock with your sleep. And being exposed to light at night obviously will block that melatonin production. And we know that melatonin is released in heaviest doses at nightfall as the mind prepares for sleep. And not getting enough sleep can affect your ghrelin levels as well. Your ghrelin levels can increase. That is your hunger hormone. Many times a person who doesn't sleep will get up in the middle of the night. They're, they'll crave more sugar. It may be cereal, having those extra carbs over time will definitely put on weight. But what's interesting is that there's a direct correlation between melatonin and human growth hormone. And human growth hormone has many different factors. When it comes to weight loss, that is number one. Human growth hormone reduces obesity through its action on two enzymes, which controls lipolysis, which is the breakdown of stored triglycerides into free fatty acids and lipogenesis, which is fat accumulation. Human growth hormone can help the fat cells shrink. And these fatty acids can be burned when your body needs that extra energy. And yes, it's true as we get older, the production of melatonin that's secreted from our brain diminishes, making it harder for us to sleep. People will supplement melatonin, approximately three milligrams, which is the most common dosage. But for many of us, it's still difficult to sleep. But there are other foods that you could be supplementing naturally to help build up that melatonin level, as well as other situations and things that you can change just a little bit that can really help you get to sleep to boost those human growth hormone levels. You wanna to try to reduce artificial light, particularly two to three hours before bed. And if necessary, use blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out that ambient light. Getting sun through the day is excellent, not only for your vitamin D levels, but this can help boost up your melatonin levels at night. Eating melatonin-rich foods like goji berries, tart cherries, walnuts, almonds, pineapples, tomatoes, bananas, oranges, grapes, mushrooms, oats, eggs are all excellent high melatonin foods. Taking a hot bath at night can help boost those melatonin levels by kicking up the parasympathetic nervous system. Make sure you're regulating your caffeine intake. Take time to meditate and do deep breathing exercises. It's extremely healthy for your body. Drinking warm milk before bed will also boost melatonin levels and support healthy sleep. And increasing tryptophan foods will also boost melatonin levels like garbanzo beans, spirulina, soybeans, cottage cheese, chicken liver, pumpkin seeds, turkey, chicken, tofu, watermelon seeds, almonds, peanuts, and yogurt. And to help your body lose that fat, to help increase human growth hormone, particularly while you sleep, a few other things are important. Do high intensity exercise with rest in between. Make sure you're getting your sleep. Reducing your overall body fat levels will make a huge difference. And intermittent fasting is also a great asset. It helps increase growth hormone, as well as autophagy to help those cells repair so your body can stay healthy and strong. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.